Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on uh, industrial electronics info. That is uh, working on revisions. Uh, we have got uh, a question which is on power supplies. In this case, so from uh, that is uh, August uh, or July 2022 exams, where we are given uh, on question number four, 4.1, to draw a neat labeled circuit diagram of a power supply using the following. So take note, it's a power supply, but you're supposed to take off the information that you're given here. We have got uh, an isolation transformer. Uh, we have got one diode. So the one diode here shows that it's a halfway rectification that we are talking about. Two capacitors, definitely uh, talk about smoothing in this case, uh, an inductor, a resistor and a load resistor. So taking this whole information, you can see that this is under an, L, uh, an L, uh, LC Pi filter. Yeah, that's the exact one that we can actually have because we have got an isolation transformer, also an inductor. In this case, the, mo the major part having an inductor in series with a resistor. So this inductor will be in series with a resistor. All right, so our diagram, in this case is going to be like this all right so this is what you're going to have uh remember on your lc pi filter so this is where we're going to have our inductor in series with the resistor uh then our diode in this case then uh we have got uh, the output which is our load resistor in this case here we've got our input all right so that is uh what we're supposed to have and make sure showing the two capacitors uh which is c1 and c2 which is uh, for smoothing uh, purpose. So this filter is also called, uh, we can just call it a capacitor input pi filter and uh, consists of a filter that is uh, the, which is, uh, which is referred to as a reservoir capacitor connected across a rectifier. Then where we are having the rectifier output and inductor in series with another filter smoothing capacitor. So this one is in series to this part connected across the load resistor so this is uh, how it is supposed to be like all right so let us check uh the second part of our question uh which is question 4.2 name the circuit diagram so as we've been talking about already we have talked about this circuit uh, diagram so this is an lc uh pi filter in this case all right so this is a filter in this case and uh, so that is uh, having an inductor in series with a resistor. That is the major part that we are going to check this. Name the type of rectifier used. So we have got uh, one diode in this case. I explained this part of when we have having one diode, meaning to say that's a half wave in this case. We are talking about a half wave in this case. Two diodes, that's a full wave. All right. Then uh, 4.4. Draw an output wave of the circuit up to 70 degrees. So take note, we are given this is supposed to be taken up to 70 degrees in this case. All right, so this is what we are going to have at the end, uh, having uh, the first uh, 360 degrees and uh, then definitely our 70. So VRMS and the VDC in this case. So Take note, we have got uh, smoothing capacitors. So that's why we are having now our voltage is being tried. It, it won't be that smooth, but uh, the, as we go on trying to smoothen again and again, that's where we end up with a smooth uh, DC at the end. All right, so this is what we are going to have at the end. Uh, then the other part was uh, in this case to give uh, three advantages of a power supply. So these power supplies that we are talking about, what are the advantages of a having a power supply in this case? All right, so we have got uh, some of these advantages that we can take into consideration. Uh, that is a having high output voltages, very good smoothing action compared to other filters. So we saw that uh, in terms of filtering, we've got uh, more than uh, components that can be used for filtering. Then we've got a better ripple reduction than other filters, most popular because of its excellent filtering action and good regulation characteristics. So this is uh, what we are given in this case. So we just need three advantages from these ones. So we can take any three 
from the information that we are given. All right, so this is what we had uh, 12 marks for this, guys. So let us continue to revise our theory, our diagrams. Make sure that you understand your diagrams. Try to redraw each and every time your diagram so that you properly understand and also the principle of operation for your diagrams that you're given. How does it operate? It's very, very important because it's not about just drawing the diagram, but also know the operation of that diagram that you are given. So this helps us a lot in our revision. Okay, guys, that's uh, what we had uh, from Maison African Motives, working on our revisions for, uh, as we are preparing ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time. Let us continue to revise. Uh, let us continue to put more work in our revisions. Uh, more question papers so that we prepare exactly, uh, we, we can know exactly what our exams can be like. The more we do our question papers, uh, the more we know how these guys uh, from department want us to answer their questions. All right. So that's it, guys, from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.